Well, welcome to this week's edition of America's Outdoor Journal. This week we're in beautiful British Columbia, just outside of a nice little town called Vernon, and we're at Silver Star Resort. Remember, products we use in the show are available at Guard Sports, Oshman's, and Sport Mart. Well, during our visit to Big White, you know, we had a chance to run over here to Silver Star, which is a sister resort for Big White. And I'm glad we did because by the looks of things, it's a beautiful mountain. I'm here with uh, Norman Kreutz, who is a director of skiing here at uh, Silver Star. Norman, tell me a little bit about the differences between Big White and what we're going to find at Silver Star now. Well, we're, uh, we're a mid-mountain village here, uh, decked out in the gaslight era, as you can see with the colorful uh, uh, painting of all our buildings here. Uh, we two distinct aspects to our to our mountain. We've got our, our gentle terrain here on the front side of the mountain, uh, which the kids love, the family loves that. And if you're into some challenging, uh, steeper, bumpy terrain, uh, we have the back side of our mountain over in Putnam Creek where uh, uh, it'll challenge uh, the most skilled skiers. Excellent. Well, Eric came with us. Uh, he had a good time at Big White. I know he'll have a good time here. So one thing that's really important for our viewers to understand is that because they're sister resorts, if you buy a ticket at Big White, you can also use it here at Silver Star. And, and it's just a quick trip, whether you take the helicopter shuttle or you know an hour and a half drive or so. Uh, it's a great way to just finish out a complete trip to this area. Yes, exactly. Um, you, can, you can stay in the accommodation over at Big White or here at Silver Star and, and have a taste of both resorts. So uh, it's the best of both worlds there. Well, I think Eric's had a long enough rest. Let's go find him and okay. uh, show him some of that mountain. Super, let's right. do that. Eric Archer here with the Atomic Freeride team and I'm here to help you pick out your next pair of skis. In this era of new technology, skis have become specialized for different performance and different conditions. You've got fat skis for powder, you've got all mountain skis for all conditions you can find, and you've got specialized skis for groomers and carving. The carving skis are built with a narrower waist, they're shorter in length, they have a lot of side cut, they're designed more for carving and groomers and generally hard packed snow. Here you got your all mountain ski. It's designed with a little more width, a little bit less side cut, but these skis are designed to ski the whole mountain in most conditions. You can use them in powder, they perform on groomers, and you can just about take them anywhere. And then you have the fat skis. 
These are designed specifically for powder skiing, deep snow. They have a lot less side cut. They're fat from tip to tail to give you a lot of float on top of the snow. You can have a lot of fun on these in the powder and the back bowls. Now that you know what type of ski you're looking for, do a little research. Check out the magazine, see what the pros are writing about the skis in your category. Head down to the shop, talk to the employees, see what they're saying about the skis, and maybe even get a chance to demo a couple pairs. Once you have all that figured out, you can narrow it down, you can make the right choice for you. You'll have the best time out on the mountain. I'm Eric Archer with America's Outdoor Journal. We'll see you out on the slopes. Remember, products we use in the show are available at Guard Sports, Oshman's, and Sportmart. Norman, we made it to the top. This is the uh, just the top of the Comet Six Pack, right? Yes, it's uh, Canada's longest uh, six-person chairlift here, and it uh, it brings a lot of people up on the mountain. <laughs> it's here. very comfortable. Yeah, and here we are at the top of the mountain. We're standing at about uh, 6,250 feet above sea level. If you look down in here, you can just see Vernon itself, and uh, oh, sure. that uh, that's our little town. Off to the right is uh, Lake Okanagan. Uh, Lake Okanagan is. Uh, it's the lake that has our Loch Ness Monster. Our Loch Ness Monster is actually called Ogopogo. And a lot of people have been looking for Ogopogo for a long, long time. They say they've seen them, but uh, personally, I haven't see seen one. In is there. that right? Yeah. Well, you know I love to fish. I'd like to go fish for Ogopogo. Yeah, well, a lot of people have tried. Uh, there are some big fish in there. Uh, we've got some muskie in there that are up over 100 pounds or so. And oh, it's a man. nice deep lake. The other lake that you see is uh, Lake Kalamalka. And Kalamalka is a, a native word for uh, lake of many colors. The mineral content in that lake is uh, such that it takes on different hues of blues and greens. And it's a really, really pretty lake as you're driving by there on the highway. We're just going to head over here onto Attridge. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is named after Bill Attridge, who is one of the founders of Silver Star. And uh, what we're going to do is and, uh, see if we can find some fresh pow over there. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I think he is too, so lead the way. Let's right on. Let's go, guys. Great chairlift. Isn't this something? It's uh, like a, a big uh, cushy couch. That it is. It's like a big on, sofa huh? watching TV, yeah. except we're riding up a beautiful mountain here to go skiing. Yeah, it's beautifully smooth. You know, it's uh, it's one of the, the newer styles of uh, lift that uh, Palma Leitner has put in here, and right. we're really happy with it. It moves a lot of people up the mountain. Yeah, well, people really look for that. When you come to a resort on a vacation, you don't want to spend time in lift lines. And I can't think of a better way to have a fast chair and one that will hold six people at a time. Yeah, exactly. You know, with the vast terrain that we have, uh, once the people are at the top, they disperse. And uh, the one thing you don't want to do is gather them at the bottom. Right. They want to get them up the lift and get them skiing some more. How many skiable acres do you have here at Silver Star? Um, well, on the front side here, we have about 2,700 uh, skiable uh, uh, acres of, uh, of terrain. And then on the back side, it's about one and a half times the size of the, the front side of the wow. mountain here. So. That's great. And how many total chairlifts service that? 
Uh, we've got uh, two high-speed uh, uh, chairlifts, uh, the six-pack, and then we have our Putnam uh, uh, Creek uh, chairlift, which is a quad, a uh, high-speed quad. Uh, we've got uh, two uh, uh, attached double chairlifts, and uh, when it's really busy, uh, we fire those ones up so that uh, there's, there's no lineups uh, to be had. The Summit chairlift, uh, which is uh, over on the, on the far side over here, uh, it runs during the evening also, and we have night skiing here. So you have okay. uh, about a thousand vertical feet of uh, night skiing and some fairly steep, challenging terrain. You can ski some bumps at night. Even if the, the, the clouds are down low, uh, it gives you a lot of definition. It's kind of fun to ski, uh, ski the bumps at night. Little black the... diamond in the dark. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> That'll add a little challenge to it. Yeah. There's actually a place in Oregon that has some uh, really difficult terrain and it's open at night and it is, it's a lot of fun when those shadows are cast across those big bumps on the steeps it's it's challenging yeah exactly you just get some clear goggles or some clear lenses on yeah. your sunglasses and and away you go yeah so. now i know you guys are really proud of your ski school here and you cater to all levels from you know kids who are just beginning and just want to have fun out here all the way to the more advanced skier Yes, our, our children's center is uh, it's one of the best in, in Canada and uh, we really pride ourselves on, on taking the, in good care of, uh, of the children. Mom and dad get to drop off the kids early in the morning. Uh, we have a little bit of child minding that we do before their lesson starts so mom and dad can get out on the slope uh, nice, and, nice and early. We have about 105 uh, people on our ski school here and they're, they're divided amongst the, uh, the children's center as well as the adult center. And uh, obviously in the adult center we end up uh, uh, catering to people from experts uh, right down to the beginner. Excellent. And you handle both skiing and boarding. And the That's ski, right, and the exactly, ski exactly. Yeah. Well, we're almost here, and I can't wait to get over to that knob you showed us to. Remember, products we use in the show are available at Guard Sports, Oshman's, and Sport Mart. Norman, you've got a great mountain here. Isn't this something back here? It is, uh, it is a lot of fun. It is super. There's so many different types of terrain here from, you know, groom slopes and some serious double black diamond bumps over here. Yeah, the bumps are great. I, I love skiing back in here. You can just challenge any any ability level yeah. back here. Yeah. Really. And that's really important because even when a family comes to places like this, there's usually many different levels of skiers in that family and everybody wants to be able to go out and enjoy the mountain. Yeah, definitely. You know, we ski by a lot of those black diamond runs. You don't have to go down those. Right. You can actually uh, skirt around them and you still feel like you're on some of the, the most challenging uh, terrain on the mountain even though you've got some easy ways to, to get down exactly. the mountain. Now I have a question for you. From everything we've seen here, if you could only ski one run the rest of your life, which run would it be? Well, you know, I would have to say that it's Gypsy Queen here off the Powder Gulch Express uh -huh. chairlift. Um, Gypsy Queen is, um, it's got a huge variety of terrain on it and it's wide open, groomed most of the time. So you can just carve your skis and you feel like a real hero. You can do short ones if you want to, but uh, it's that wide open expanse. You, you feel the, the wind whistling past your ears there Excellent. and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Now, those are the kind of runs I love too, so I can't wait to see. We're almost there, right? Yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna head over to Gypsy Queen and give her another shot. Be a great way to finish the day. You betcha. Thanks yeah. again. Thanks very much for coming and uh, visiting our great More home. than my pleasure. Super. Well, Al, let's go take a look at that Gypsy Queen, all right? And let's give it a shot, huh?
Detroit from Silver Star Mountain here. Just want to give you a little tip on uh, skiing some bumps and uh, the, some of the, the important issues when we're skiing bumps is to try and keep your core nice and strong. So uh, tuck in your belly a little bit, try and keep your shoulders over your kneecaps and then uh, work with the feet just a little bit. In anticipation of your feet slowing down as you hit, hit the bump, just try and push your feet forward a little bit in anticipation for that. Then the feet come back underneath you and off you go in, in good balance once again. If we watch Eric here, you'll uh, be able to see how he, uh, he works with the base of support, as we call it, the feet, and uh, moves it around a little bit. So he moves the feet through the turn and in anticipation for them slowing down. Beautiful turns that he makes down in there. If we look again, uh, you can see here how the feet can, can move and the upper body stays nice and stable here. Just watch me here as I uh, enter into the bump and push my feet through the bump. It'll kind of explode and make a nice little splash for me. Yeah? Here's your tip. So we push the feet through. Okay, so as you come close to the bumps here, you want to be active with the feet. Good solid upper body and the lower body is doing all the work for you. So play around with your feet. It's going to make your bump skiing that much more effective. Hope you guys have a great day. Woohoo! Remember, products we use in the show are available at Guard Sports, Oshman's, and Sportmart.